Hello, today we are going to learn how to cut an object from the background. So I'm going to open my file. I'm getting ready to do my 10 year collage. So I'm going to open my image and I have it saved in my photography folder. So I'm waiting for my computer to open that. So I'm going to scroll down to my photography folder and there I'm going to look at my Pitbull picture. If some of your pictures don't show up, Remember, you can hit this custom file button and select all files. All right, so I'm going to hit open. And here's my file of this cute little pit bull dog. I just want the dog. I don't want anything else. So there's several different ways I could do this. I could crop out everything but the doggy, but the background's still there. So how could I do that? There are several different ways. One is, I could, if I wanted to erase the background, I could use my magic wand tool, and it's going to select everything that's the same color. Now, if it's selecting too much or too little, you can come over here and change the tolerance. I could increase the tolerance, because I would like for it to select this gray area here. Um, let's see if it'll do that. Oh, I selected it too high. Now it's selected the entire image. Obviously, that's not going to work. So let's take it back. I'm going to hit select none or deselect all because it doesn't seem to want to work. All right, that's not what I want. I just want the, the background. So it looks like I need to go back to around 20%. So I'm going to hit edit, deselect all. I guess that's as good as it's going to get. So I'm going to hit delete and delete the background or the backspace key on your Chromebook. Or I could come through here with my magic wand and hold down the shift key. And if you look really closely, my magic wand tool, I got a plus symbol next to it. If I hold down the shift key, I'll have a plus symbol next to it. Now that's too much. I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to go through here and hit control Z, edit, undo, or I could go to my history panel and back it up a step. All right, so I've decided that's not gonna work out very good. So now let's just use the eraser. Again, I'm gonna deselect all. So I've not yet copied my dog yet, so I'm gonna erase the rest of the background. Let me zoom in some. You can use your navigator window over here to move things around. Or sometimes if you hold down the spacebar key, it um, turns into a hand. See how my brush tool turns into a hand? Now this paintbrush is too big. My eraser brush is too big. So I switched it up to 20. I wanna do a straight line. So I'm gonna hold down the shift key and it's gonna erase in a straight line. Again, I'm gonna come over here. It's gonna take you, if you wanna cut something out well, so it looks good, it's gonna take you some time. There's this jagged edge here that I wanna feather. I'm gonna feather that. So for the most part, I've deleted all the background around this pit bull. I was using, to summarize, I used the magic wand tool and the eraser tool. Now I'm ready to put my pit bull into the background of my 10 year collage, which is this Tudor house. Um, so I'm gonna compare the heights of the two images to make sure my pit bull will fit. All right, so my pit bull is 426 in height and my house over here is 1,030 pixels high. So it'll fit. So I'm gonna, while I'm selected on my dog picture, I'm gonna say select all, edit copy, and then I'm gonna come here to my tutor house and hit edit paste or use my keyboard shortcut, control V. Now you may say, well, there's a white background around your pit bull. How are you gonna get rid of that? Well, I'm gonna use my friend, the magic wand tool again. So I'm gonna use my magic wand tool. I'm gonna to make sure I'm on the correct layer of the dog. If I don't know which layer, you can just click it on and off. And then you can also label it. So I know this is my dog layer. 
Now I'm going to select the white background and we can see that it's selecting my tolerance is set too high because it is selecting um, the actual dog fur. So I'm going to go back here and hit deselect all and select the background. Now that's better. I changed the tolerance from 30 to 20 and things are much better. So now I can see my white background is selected and I'm going to hit my backspace key and delete it and I will notice my um, it's the white background is gone. So I'm all done with that, but I'm going to make sure I hit edit deselect all. So we're good. Remember, if you make a mistake, you can go back and use your history palette. So I'm going to go ahead and save my work because it's always good to save often. Look at that awful file name. The name of this project is called 10 years. So I'm going to label my file 10 years so that I'm um, when I'm working on my different projects, I know what to do. I don't want to save it as a JPEG because that will flatten the image. I only want to save it as a JPEG when I'm all done working, when I'm ready to upload to Artsonia or submit to Canvas. Um, but we're going to save it as a PXD file, and then I'm going to hit OK, and it's going to ask me where I want to save it, and I want to save it in my Google Drive, in my photography folder. See, I can, can again, Here's my title, 10year.pxd. I'm going to hit save, and we're all good. Thank you for watching this tutorial.